Well, we're back again with Maddie. So this is the last part of this neck release technique. So this time we're going to concentrate specifically on that lateral flexion. So we're going to hone in on those Scalini's muscles. And I know Scalini's obviously has that influence into that thoracic outlet syndrome problems we have with that paresthesia and peripheral nerve entrapment. But today we're really just concentrating on opening up that range of movement for Maddie because she was both restricted in obviously the rotation, which we did last video. Now we're looking at the lateral flexion. So let's just go into some lateral flexion for us now, Maddie, into that right side. Yep, okay. Obviously where are you feeling that down through this area? Yep, and a little bit there. Okay, that's good. And then over to that way. Yep, so that's sort of blocked that way. So let's get in here, open up this, uh, this uh, scalenes and lateral flexion and then we'll get it back up and have a look and see what sort of changes we've done or how much change we've made. All right. Let's go and lie down here. <clears throat> now, as I've said in all of these videos, really important to make sure that the head is nice and relaxed. So if it's not, we need to probably take the time to make sure that it is. Now, <clears throat> quick tool, as I said before on maybe the last video, just pushing down, the head pushing down onto your hands, holding that for about 10 seconds, and then relax, obviously. Okay, now pushing into my hand on the left, and relax. And that should relax off any of that residual muscle contraction type stuff they have. All right, so now where we're looking at, here's our SCM here, okay? So we worked on that last video. If we roll off that SCM at the back of it, then we should pick up that Scalini's group just through there, okay? So the direction of our technique today is obviously going to be along the path of that, okay? But at the same time, we're gonna take the time to work through that range of movement and really challenge that tissue, okay? Once again, we're gonna use the Premax cream, not the lotion for this. Reason for that is we don't want it too, too slippery, okay? So let's just take a little bit of time here, just massage the area so they get familiar with where we're going to work. <clears throat> You shouldn't have any problems. You're not anywhere near the vertebral artery or any of the brachial plexus here, so <clears throat> very safe area. Now, a little bit of flexion and obviously lateral flexion. Okay, so pick up that SCM. Rotation as well. So there's the SCM there. I'll, roll, I'll just roll off that SCM and then I come down and just sink into that tissue right there. So I should be right over the anterior and the medius and even the posterior scalene is there with my fingertips, okay? And then all I need to do here is just bring in a little bit of rotation and lateral flexion at the same time. Okay, good. How's that, Maddie? That all right, comfortable? Yep. Okay, so if this is really uncomfortable and painful, you're probably digging in too much, okay? So soften off your approach, okay? So sink in. A little bit of rotation, lateral flexion. So rotation first, and then lateral flexion. Okay, really good. Don't rush this technique. So these techniques, you really gotta work with the tissue as much as you can. That's great. Sink in through that. Fantastic, terrific, all right. Check that range there, that's good, all good. Simple technique, lateral flexion, a little bit of rotation, gauging that scalene as it goes through that range of movement. Simple technique. All right, let's get you back up, let's have a look, Maddie. Here we go again, don't forget that thoracic. Good girl, all right, so once again, let's go down into that lateral flexion. How's that feel through there? Yep, yeah, good, I can feel it too, yep need to do some work on that side. So if you even remotely enjoyed some of that content, please do me a favor and hit the like button below just so that I know that you did enjoy it. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any of the content that we put up on a regular basis, then the best way to do that is obviously just to hit the subscribe button. So it's a bit of a no brainer. But most importantly, if you really want to see the true show, the real show, take the opportunity, hit the link below, stuarthines.com. That's where we have all the comprehensive assessment, treatment, 
of a whole range of conditions. That's where we have our online courses and obviously our mentoring and so forth, the webinars and our podcasts. So if you're even remotely, remotely interested in what we do, go and check it out. Appreciate it. But also, most importantly, again, just be awesome at what you do.